Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I'm Ambassador Chantro Davis. Today is October the 22nd of 2018, where there is no vision, the people perish. Second Chronicles 36 and 16, but they mocked the messengers of God and despised their words until the wrath of the Lord arose, till there was no remedy, reprobate, given over, shaken off of the dust. The Lord gave me a vision. I was shaking off dust on my feet and it was a perpetual dust. Cause I was like, Lord, how we go places and it's always dust to shake off. <laughs> I'll wait on that one. This vision this morning, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's in the Middle East. And it was a news broadcast, a urgent news broadcast. And I visually saw this. I have no doubt that I was taken there. Uh, the Lord is not in time. It ain't happened yet, but I have no, I, 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 I no doubt I was taken there and I saw what was coming. Um, as I watched from above and I saw a woman running through the cracks as it began to crumble. But it's as if a news reporter was reporting it and it is of historic proportion. The initial earthquake struck overnight on the East Anatolian fault line that runs through Southern Turkey. That 7.8 on the magnitude scale is by far the largest in the region in living memory. The disaster here is really enormous. I mean, countries are mobilizing right now to try and send aid, and particularly the situation is particularly dire in Syria, where there was already a humanitarian crisis, and which now has been struck by this historic earthquake, really. This is one of the most powerful earthquakes to strike this region. And I was asking, Lord, Turkish keep coming up in my heart. Turkish. Even though I said Middle East and Turkish, because I saw the woman with the thing wrapped around her head and the stone buildings and the I knew the region, but Turkish keeps coming forefront. Uh, the Arabic language, language, I know it's people over there that speak it. That's why I'm going to include the language typed in the bottom. And the Turkish uh, and the Kurdish and the Persian uh, areas, okay? So another critical aspect of this, this, this earthquake is that many of the cities in the southeastern of Turkey that has been hit hardest are the Kurdish majority cities such as Diyarbakir, such as Adyaman and Shandufa. So 